Welcome back. It's that awkward period between Christmas and New Year where you've eaten too much and you just don't know what to do with yourself. So I've given myself 48 hours. I've booked overnight accommodation in Hollyhead. Fished a couple of spots on the way over. Fished a couple of spots on the way back. That's the plan. As with all good plans, the weather has gone from good to medium to, well, this. I've already booked the accommodation, so I'm going to stick with it and see how we go. Start the clock. Welcome back. You're going to laugh, but the missus has lent me like a little beauty light to go around my me, uh, me camera. Bright as oak. Anyway, um, venue number five of this trip. Uh, Conway Estuary. I say er a lot, don't I? I'm going to try and cut that out. Maybe that's my new year resolution. Oh, nearly did it again then. It's hard not to say it. I'm just going to end up replacing it with well or something like that. Yeah, Conway Estuary. Oh, yeah, there you go. Conway Estuary. Um, for fuck's sake. I just can't do it. Why can I not do it? I can't take any credit for, for the venue. I watched um, Gamekeeper John. Yeah, I've seen them fishing here a couple of times and it just uh, it breaks the... Breaks the drive up. I'm concentrating on how, how many times I say, Ugh. oh, jeez. Right, that's getting darker and all, isn't it? Disappearing into the dark. I think the light's dying. Well, before I disappear into the dark, in fact, i tell you what, I bet I could put the cab lights on and look a bit brighter, can't I? There we go. Um, that's a bit better. On the way down here, I fished Mostyn. That's about two hours from my house. Here, it's going to take me two and a half hours to get home later, so... And Hollyhead from our house is about four hours, four fifteen, something like that. So I'm trying to find a couple of spots along the the sort of north coast of Wales that just break up the drive a little bit. Like I say, I do want to fish Anglesey a lot more this year. I fished it loads as a kid, but yeah, four hour drive is just oh, that's a killer. I'm targeting cod tonight. I've got frozen blacks, I've got squid, and I've got some carp as well, and a couple of peeler crabs. It's four hours now until low water and i've just got here a bit earlier than i anticipated to be honest but i've just got here and i can see out the mirror the tide is just ripping through so i'm not even going to bother setting up the wind's not quite as calm as it was at almac either it's it's whistling down a little bit i've part, I managed to park the van uh on on the slipway just so that uh, i can fish from the back of the van but the, the wind is due to calm down a little bit in an hour or two's time. So if it, if that does happen, I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk while I'm waiting. Have a look what spots, um, see if there's anywhere I fancy fishing. And in the meantime... Oh, no, where have they gone? Oh, where are they? Oh, they're here. Yes. Now then, you tell me... Oh, it's backwards because I'm on the wrong camera. You can't tell me that there is a better flavour crisp than that. Walker's Max. Jalapeno and cheese. If you haven't tried them, you genuinely are missing out on possibly the best, well, no possible about it, the best crisp flavour in the world. So I'm going to sit here and munch them, go for a little bit of a walk, see what we're fishing into, and then I'm just going to chill out for an hour and a half. So probably going to fish about two and a half hours. I'll see what it looks like at three hours. I'll see what it looks like in an hour. Um, if it looks fishable, or I sling a six ounce lead out and it holds bottom, I'll start fishing then, but if it's still whipping through the way it is at the minute, then I'm not going to bother. I'll probably fish two hours down, hour and a half. Low tide is half past ten tonight. I left mine at 5am yesterday morning. Let's let's try till midnight. Let's say till midnight, and then I've got a two and a half hour steam home, so that gets me home at nearly nearly 3am. So that will put me almost at that 48 hour mark. And just as I've said that, it started pissing it down with rain. Two and a half hours now till low tide. Just having a nice steady setup. Time that drag up a bit. So first rod I'm setting up is my Any Fish Anywhere GBFS Pro Mark II. Uh, and there I've got my Spinfish 7500 long cast, 80 pound braid straight through. And then on this, I forgot that I got this to be honest, but bought by accident the other day, a 12 ounce weight. Now, I'm not going to be pinging this far. But what I'm fishing is a long flowing up and over rig. And then on the business end of that, what I've got is panel set up with two four o hooks on there. And I think first bait out on this is going to be uh, squid and carp. There you have it, look nicely clipped up. And that stonking, got a big 12 ounce lead, whole squid, 
quarter of a cart. I'm going to stick it upside. Hopefully that 12 ounce is enough just to hold it out there. And then uh, on the other rod, you know, six ounce, six ounce gripper, keep that a bit closer in. And the other rod that I'm putting out is my Akios FX420 Fury Pen Spin Fisher 5500 long cast. I'm fishing 40 pound braid through to a 70 pound shock leader on this. And then on the business end of this, I've got just your standard pulley panel rig, which I've already baited up and clipped down. I've got some frozen blacks on there and they're not the best quality, They've uh, this is a pack that's been defrosted now in the van for 48 hours almost and I have found a 7 hours breakaway. Two hours to low water now, I had a nice steady setup and we're fishing so both rods out, you can see them, it's just a waiting game now. It's gone eerily quiet, as in there's no wind, no rain. Check the forecast, forecast said it was going to drop to 32 mile an hour, which is what it was supposedly over at Amlick earlier. Um, and you should be able to hear me, there's no muffler or anything like that, there's not a breath of wind. It's, it's spooky. In fact, if I turn around, I'll come out of the way of my light. Look all the way up there, you can see the moon and stars. It's a pretty nice evening, considering the last couple, last 48 hours, 36 hours. I have cleared a space in the van, because, like I say, it says the wind's going to be easing to 32 mile an hour, which is why I'm fishing this side of the river, um, rather than the other side. Uh, it also says it's going to start chucking it down at about 9 o'clock. So, what, 20 minutes? So I have cleared space in the back of the van. We can boost up and sit in there if we need to. But I'll take this all day long. What Gamekeeper John doesn't tell you in his videos is the car park for this spot is definitely the local dogging spot. If you don't know what I mean by a local dogging spot, just Google where is my local dogging spot. Just don't let the missus see. Um, yeah, while I was sat eating my crisps, probably four or five cars come in. Sat there with the lights on, kept flashing the lights. And I thought, <laughs> um, in fact, there's a couple up there at the minute. If it stays this quiet all night, I might go and watch them rather than my rods. Ten minutes in, and I can confirm neither seven nor twelve ounce old bottom two hours before low. They both scoot straight downstream. Oh, well, this is going to be loads of fun. This could be a really, really quick session. Well, folks, I'm not going to lie to you, make out like I've been busy fishing. Um, because, to be honest, I haven't. And that 12 ounce wouldn't hold, hold bottom and then that first set of weed. Um, I just sort of give it a rest, really, and went off taking photos like this one. Which uh, I quite enjoy doing, to be honest. But, um, there we go again. But, um, I'm going to start this sentence with, um... Half an hour before low water, everything seems to have settled off now. It's still definitely quiet. There's no not a breath of wind. It's dead calm, uh, and I've swapped that 12 ounce for a six ounce. And it's holding bottom now, so I'm going to start putting some effort in. You know those optical illusions that you get where you stare at a dot in the middle of the screen, and the lines around it all move, and then you look away after 10 seconds, and everything moves. That's kind of how I feel now. Stared at them tip lights for that long. Every time I look over at the beach, stare at the gravel, they move. See if it works. I'm going to video this for 15 seconds. Just stare at the tip lights for 15 seconds. Now look away. And if stuff's moving, drop it in the comments below, let me know if it worked or not. Well, the wind's back, the rain's back, the weed's back. A lot of hard work, a lot of effort, not much reward, but that's where the cookie crumbles, that's fishing, 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Is there anything you'd have done differently? Apart from keep saying, um. Anyway, uh, next trip. I'm not sure what the next trip's going to be for me, to be honest. I think in between now and then, there's probably going to be a bit of freshwater fishing as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Nothing left for me to say other than, until next time, take care of yourselves and tight lines. 46 hours, 454 miles later, I'm back home.